Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is makeup basket time. So for those of you who are new or don't know or miss the explanations, every Friday I post my makeup basket. Here it is. I just go through my entire collection, pick out items from every category, and that's what I use for the upcoming week. It helps me get ready for work quickly, make sure I'm rotating through products. It also helps me to test things out, catch things when they're going bad, or just to realize something's not working for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. This week is supposed to be a mix of like warm and cool. So I think I'm gonna grab my um, CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous. This is the three-in-one foundation. I have it in number 842, which is medium beige. And it's a really, whoops, sorry. It's a really good foundation. So I do like this. And I think I'll also grab my Urban Decay Tinted Moisturizer. It's paraben free and has SPF 20, so that's really nice. And this is pretty lightweight, but it has a, you know, kind of like a medium buildable coverage. Uh, for concealer, I haven't used my MAC in a while. So I think I'll grab that. I have this in NW20. It's the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. So I've gone through a lot and you can see I haven't used it because it's so like clean on top. So let's use that. And I think I'll go ahead and grab my corrector. It's in light to medium bisque and this is from Bobbi Brown. And for a setting powder, I will use my L'Oreal uh, True Match Mineral Powder. I really like this, it's very, very lightweight. Let's move this over. Um, I really wanna try and use like my products I got in my um, my BoxyCharm. So this is a bronzer from Model Co that we got. And my video should have already gone up, I'm kind of demoing it and showing my thoughts because I've been using this on and off, but I'm gonna put this in here. But because it does have a little bit of shimmer and I don't have too much of a tan, I'm also gonna throw in my um, Chocolate Soleil from Too Faced. And this is just like a regular bronzer. So I'll throw that in there and that other one will be more if, if I want like a glow. Um, Oh, I really want to use this. I think I will. I'll throw it in there. This is from Becca. It's one of, the sh one of the shimmering skin perfectors. This is an opal. Really, really pretty. Very easy applicator. as like a sponge tip applicator, so I do like that a lot. I think on that same line, I will grab my Becca Beach Tint. This is in, is this in Watermelon? Yeah, this in, is in Watermelon Moonstone. And this is just like a cream blush. It's really, really pretty, and I just don't use it enough. I actually just recently got this, but I want to start using it for a nice subtle glow. Um, I think I'll also use my Tarte uh, Smooth Operator. This is what I use to set my under eyes. I have a few different options and I usually use my Ben Nye, but I think I'll whip this guy out. Also, guys, I keep coming back for this. So I might as well just put it in my makeup basket. This is a NYX blush. This is in Dusty Rose. It's like one of my all time favorite blushes. Um, and I just said that out loud because it's true. I just realized it. I love this it goes with any color makeup any color skin tone it's just stunning so i'm going to grab that uh, let's move you guys over to my blush area and let's zoom in a little bit right okay so what was i looking at here i think i'll also grab this beach please from be a bombshell we got this in an ipsy bag way back in the day right look how bright that is but it's a really great blush i really really love it so um with a light hand it's really pretty and hmm should i leave it at that maybe i'll also grab this this is cabana boy from the balm i really like this it's beautiful it's just like a dusty rose kind of like a mauve undertone blush and it's really nice because this goes really nice it's really nice because it goes really nice, but um, it, this looks really nice in your crease, kind of like right above the crease, that's a transition color. Sorry for the extra noise. Um, my bathroom is being cleaned. Hallelujah, I'm not cleaning it for once. And let's move up. Let's go right to palettes because I have been watching other people in their palettes and I'm like, oh, I haven't used mine in so long. And I'm like, why am I not using them? But honestly, guys, you can see why I'm not using all my palettes because I have a lot. So let's see here. Is it this one? My Anastasia. This is the Amrezi. Oh, it's so pretty. Mm. But look, there's this one. The Lavish Palette. It's so pretty. Also, I really want to use one of these. I think I'm going to grab this one, the Amrezi one. Look how stunning this is, guys. Just gorgeous. Caramel Morocco Deep Plum. 
actually like these six are just like my favorite so I'm definitely grabbing that um, and I really just have like way too much I know and I've decluttered my collection twice I did it last year and I did it recently this year I think I'm gonna grab this but I just kind of <coughs> sorry I have like a tickle in my throat I got a snake in my boot <laughs> I know guys I'm super corny and I think I'm going to grab the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette really pretty very natural this is just perfect go-to work appropriate if you're looking for one palette and you're not you know into a bunch of different colors you don't want to get crazy this is a great great option um, I know that hard candy which is sold in Walmart has like dupe palettes similar to the natural eyes and the bedroom eyes and all of those from Too Faced so check those out but you know, and if you're looking for something higher end as opposed to like Wet n Wild, um, the Wet n Wild trios are amazing also. But I really like this. I think I'm going to grab these two palettes. And for anyone noticing, I'm not wearing my ring because I just got back from a run. And when I run in the woods, I do not bring my wedding ring because I don't want to give someone more reason to try and kidnap me. <laughs> I know I'm paranoid, but what are you going to do? Okay, moving on. What should I do? Okay, so for my brows, like I said, I wanted to try to incorporate more of my boxy charm in there. So I'm going to use this Bodyography Brow Trio. I used it in the video where I showed um, my unboxing and the, my demo and reviews. And I actually really like it. This middle color is not good on my brows, but the darker one is. Um, but these two are actually really nice for a natural eye. So this is actually something that I feel like I could take to travel, you know, and as opposed to having to bring this, you know, so really nice. Um, and this is the dual ended brush that we got. It has a, a spoolie, which is surprisingly good. And then this angled brush end. So I'm gonna toss that in there. I think I'll use this Evelyn Iona. This is a concealer we got in an Ipsy bag, but I use it as an eye primer. So I'm gonna use that as an eye primer. And let's see, what are we going to do here? I think I'll grab my Big Shocker inked in pink. Maybelline color tattoo. I'm obsessed. I just love this. This is like, there was a really good size divot in there. <laughs> Some of these are starting to dry out, so I really want to try and use them more. Um, and on the same note, I think I'll go ahead and use the pomegranate punk color tattoo as well. This is like another one of my favorites. I just really love it. Come on. And I wasn't going to grab any more eyeshadows, but this is one of my favorite this is Strawberry Blonde. It was limited edition. It's a L'Oreal Infallible and it's one of my favorite ones. It's just stunning. And I actually have like a super old like tutorial get ready with me using this. It's like one of my first videos. So definitely go check that out if you want to laugh at me because I'm ridiculous. Now let's grab a few liners. Um, I usually just grab like a black and a brown. And maybe I'll grab like this guy and this guy. And then I'll show you. So let's see, what did I grab? My Jordana 12 Hour Made to Last Liquid Eye Pencil in Black Point. This is very compar comparable to the Urban Decay 24 7 Glide On pencils. Um, oh, I grabbed both Jordana. This is the same one in Espresso Last. So this is the brown one. I grabbed this L'Oreal Silkistamy um, liner. This is in the color Highlight. So it's just like a rose gold. It's really, really pretty. And then this is an Elizabeth Mott Smooth Shadow. Um, I pencil in the color Penny. It's not focusing, but it's just like a copper penny kind of color. We got this in an Ipsy bag a long time ago. So that's that. Um, for mascaras, I'm running low on mascaras, guys, because I have some in my old bat in my vanity that I've been using for my last week's makeup basket, and I've been going through them or they've been drying up. So I'm gonna grab these two. This is the L'Oreal uh, Voluminous Butterfly Intensa. This is the one with that crazy wand. Um, I always do like demos of them but see how crazy this wand is ridiculous so I will let you guys know wow that smells really strong and then this is the the benefit their real mascara so that's a deluxe size sample okay lips make me happy what am I gonna do for look at all this like crap on my floor um, okay I'm seeing I feel like I'm always grabbing the same things but it's because I love them I'm going to grab this. This made my May favorites. This is from Flower Beauty. This is one of the Drew Barrymore lipsticks. And this is in the color Wisteria, Wispy Wisteria. It is just gorgeous. And I've used a decent amount of it. So I love, love, love that. So I can't stop using that. Um, someone was asking me, I forgot who, 
I think it was Chelsea Gary is her name Chelsea Gray or Chelsea Gary which I can't believe it because I, I watch her YouTube videos and she commented on one of mine and I was like oh my god but she was asking which dose of colors I had and this is purple rain and this is bury me purple rain is just not a very wearable color to be completely honest look at that um, so I don't use it often but I think I've only really worn it like a few times um, but I think I'll grab bury me it's gorgeous and I think I'm gonna grab this guy, the NYX High Voltage Lipstick. This is in Rags to Riches. Really vibrant, it's just like a peachy coral kind of color. Um, wow, this is the boxy charm one. Let's be honest, I'm not gonna use that this week. But I was looking here. Hmm. I think I'll grab Sweet Tart from NYX. It's one of the butter lipsticks. Really pretty. And I'll also grab my Sephora. This is in like Fig Luster, I want to say. Uh, yeah, Fig Luster. This is just the most gorgeous neutral tone. Um, what else should I grab, guys? Ooh, should I get a... Hmm, should I get one of these guys? Like one of these really bright ones? I'm trying to think of what's going on this week, so I don't think I would actually wear them. But maybe I'll grab one of these. I think I'll grab this. I think this would go pretty with some of those other colors maybe this is a revlon color burst matte balm and this is in showy flamboyant i don't know really pretty though very pretty color it's nice that it's not focusing on it but i think you guys get the gist and should i grab one more should i grab one more yeah let's grab this this is radish this is from covergirl really nice um like <laughs> kylie jenner kind of color but really pretty. I didn't grab a nail polish, so let me go ahead and grab one now. Okay, and then I think I'm going to get Cajun Shrimp from OPI. It is this gorgeous, like, corally red. It's like an orangey red coral kind of color. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I love this on my toes, but I will paint it on my nails. Um, so that is my makeup basket for the week. Don't forget to comment down below, thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know what you guys have been loving and hating, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay beautiful and stay blessed. Bye, guys.